Hello guys, welcome back to Dr. Ranjit, your pathology educator at an academy. So we are in the series of MCQ discussion which came in the NEET PG 2021 under the pathology section, right? So in the 11th questions, we have still 11 more left. I think there are roughly about 22 questions which came. I have named the questions an individual video so that you can go through them whenever you want the particular question alone, right? So without any delay, we'll go back to the code of the question straight away. It's a 60 year old person presented with OPD with discomfort in the chest. On evaluation, he was found to have a uh, mediastinal mass. On routine examination, we just look at the mediastinal mass alone. See, if you have only the history of mediastinal mass, thymoma can happen. Squamous cell carcinoma, yes, lung related can happen. Non Hodgkin's lymphoma can happen. Laryngeal carcinoma, unlikely to push into the mediastinum without causing any other finding, right? So I'll keep laryngeal carcinoma down the road. These three are still possible with the mediastinal mass in a 60 year old, yes? You go next. On routine examination, Hemoglobin was very less. Fine. Reticulocyte count was 0.5 cm. See, this is very, very important clue for me here. See, when you have a reticulocyte count of 0.5 cm, that's something dramatic. Because retic count, the normal is around 1.5 cm. If it is less than 0.5 cm, in other words, my RBC or the erythroid lineage is not working. That's what my understanding is. And my hemoglobin is less. And the question also says, he was diagnosed to have a pure red cell aplasia. I would have come to this diagnosis, but still, my reticulocyte count is very, very less. Hemoglobin is normal. Rest everything is normal. Pure red cell aplasia. Now my diagnosis becomes very simple. I have these cancers and pure red cell aplasia is a finding which is not related to this cancer. So I'm going to call that a paraneoplastic syndrome. So with this information, a mediastinal mass, the only thing which can cause pure red cell aplasia as a paraneoplastic syndrome is thymoma. Right? So the answer here is thymoma. Not a squamous cell carcinoma of lung. Not my non-Hodgkin's lymphoma as well. The answer is going to be thymoma. Thymoma, unfortunately or fortunately, has an entire list like 20, 30 pre paraneoplastic syndromes. Fine. So amongst the paraneoplastic syndrome, two of them keeps on repeating in your neat PG exam. One is your pure red cell aplasia, like in this question. The other one is myasthenia gravis. You have to know at least these two. lambert eaton syndrome. There are many lists of them, but these two: your pure red cell aplasia (PRCA) and your um, Masthenia gravis, you have to remember about it, fine? Okay, so now just let's have a quick look about thymoma because we never discussed about thymoma microscopy. So I just want to put together, this is a new WHO classification of thymoma, which it divides them into thymoma type A, which I am going to call it a medullary thymoma on microscopy. I don't use this microscopy classification anymore. I just call it type A, type AB, where it's going to be a mixed thymoma, which is cortical medullary thymoma. B1 is predominantly cortical thymoma. B2 only cortical and B3 it's going to be in well differentiated thymic carcinoma like my squamous cell carcinoma only right so I have all these three because because the epithelial element of thymus is going to be the squamous epithelium so I'll have a squamous cell carcinoma like it's a well differentiated thymic carcinoma this is the latest WHO classification and like any other cancers thymoma also falls under the TNM staging classification right so before TNM we had a staging system. I just want to name the staging system here, right? Look at the staging system, Masoka Koga staging system, which was used before. Based on this is what my TNM has been formed. And as on date, we are using only TNM as a mode of classification for thymomas, right? This old classification system is based on the capsule of the tumor, whether they are capsulated or not, in gross as well as in microscopy. And the invasion of the capsule and the adjacent organ spread Based on that, I say I have different stage of this thymoma and I'll predict the prognosis based on that. This is not used, but just remember the name, if at all asked, because it has been in use for many, many years. Recently, they have changed into totally into TNM classification. So if any questions comes on this, you should be able to answer the WHO classification, A, A, B, B1, B2, B3, and your Masoka Koala staging class as well for your staging of the thymic tumors, fine. That's all with this uh, question. Do download the Anacademy app. We'll be starting a series of sessions for ENSIS soon. We'll be discussing mixed back of MCUs for pathology, right? And if you have any doubt anywhere or if there's any mistake in the recall question, do comment below so that it makes us fine tune us and provide you the best content. Thank you for your time. See you soon. Till then, bye bye from Dr. Bye bye.